Kilenor, the magical world of RuneScape. It's divided into chunks for easy use. Welcome to Chunkman Dead Die Kill, the series where I conquer the landmass of Gilenor by doing tasks and unlocking chunks. Last episode we unlocked two chunks by completing two tasks. The first task was achieving another 25 total levels to reach 1425. And the other task was killing the giant mole up to 100 kill count. Our map expanded with the upper part of the Ectophantus and the left side of Easterdoin. Today we will start off with checking what we can do with that last chunk. If we look at our new chunk, we see there's a lot of unstarted quests. So maybe let's unlock it first. First of all, we do have the pet shop here, so we can insure our pets, though we don't have the money for that. And for quests, we have sheep herder here, but we need the chunk above it. We then have eagle's peak, but we need eagle's peak for that, that's over here. Then we have cold war, but we need to have something over here, yeah the penguin agility course, so that's really far away. Then we have the Hazil cult, but we need this chunk for that. Then over here is Temple of Ikov, and Temple of Ikov we need to have the Temple of Ikov chunk, so that's also not possible. Then we have underground pass and regicide and over here you see Plague City, Song of the Isles, Biohazard. That's all to do with the West Ardoin chunk and then the underground pass here, the entrance. So that's all not possible. There are a lot of quest starts but no actual quests we can do with our limited map. We also have the Taskmaster here, but yeah, our, our Doin chunks are really limited, so we can't do that yet. And we have the Rat Pits here, so this was one of the options I was thinking about. If we could complete enough of the Ratcatcher quest, we could go to the Port Sarem one over here. And that would mean we would be able to do the Falador Medium Diary. But sadly, in order it's 30 Arduin Red Pits. So that would be the one we just unlocked. Then we have to go to Varok, which we have unlocked quite a while ago. And then we need to go to Keldegrim before we can go to Port Sarem. So that's also not possible. So, yeah, it looks like a good chunk, but it really isn't all that great. The only thing we can have here is that there are a few steps for the easy clues here. So that's the only thing we actually unlocked. And that's going to be pretty much what we're going to do is easy clues. And that's the 25 easy caskets obtained. We did get a few steps, I think a somewhat three steps uh, over here in the general store, above the church here and above the pub. So this was actually a good chunk for the easy caskets. For the rest we still had to drop a lot, but that's always going to be the case. But either way. Let's look at our collection log for clues. Easy. We currently have 50 easy caskets completed and we have 14 uniques. And what we are still looking for is either the flare trousers because it's a master clue requirement and otherwise the god robes here. Either one would be good. And for the rest it doesn't really matter. So, let's start opening them and see what we get. 
starting off with a new black shield. Some Mosla Harmless teleports and a new Armadil page 1. Oh, double unique. Black Wizard Robe G and Blue Elegant Shirt. But the Wizard Robe G was a duplicate. A Leather Body G. That's probably a duplicate stud. Oh no! It's actually a new unique, a studded body trimmed. And then another setter page. Some fire lighters, not that they are that important. And the black full helm trimmed. A blue beret. A good X page, but is this a new one? No, it's a duplicate. And our first Master Clue Scroll. Let's see, follow the Bard. That could be annoying, but it is fairly close. So we might as well keep the Master Clue in the bank. It will probably take some time before we can actually complete the master clue scroll so let's just keep it and continue with the last five easy caskets a willow comp bow that's also new another black plate body and that's about it these fire lighters are probably duplicates yes so we got some nice new rewards here but either way that was 75 easy treasure trails completed which is another task and another chunk to pick our 27th clue task 75 easy clues which was our third easy clue task has now been completed for 165 landmass chunks unlocked now last chunk we unlocked was the other part of east ardoin with the zoo and the castle which would give us an option to unlock the one above it which would give the option to do sheep herder which would be a good thing and unlocking the one below it with the clock tower and the monastery was already possible but this would actually be a great unlock we're still looking for just something useful hopefully we don't get anything that's a dead chunk for example here on Moslo Harmless or Fossil Island or the wilderness for that matter so let's see what we are going to get pick a chunk okay first of all we go to the void so that means we can try again pick a chunk okay some more of the void third times the charm pick a chunk and we get the upper part of dark mire which actually is inaccessible we can't come from the swamp and the chunk above it is still locked so that's actually a pretty bad unlock if we look at what we can do for the next chunk we could do a couple of bosses so Calphite Queen is one of them but probably way out of our league then we could finish the giant mole kills but that's probably a bit too annoying I'd like to have maybe Darox in the future to do the last 150 and then we could also do Jad 
but I'd like to get some better gear first. So, if we look at the other options, that would be easy clues, of course, but we just did 25, and maybe we could do some total levels instead. So, from the 25 easy treasure trails, we've gotten from 54 to 57 thieving, so 3 levels. And we also got one farming level, bringing us up to 1429 total level. We have a lot of herbs in the bank because of all the farming. So we might get a level or two, maybe three, definitely one as we are fairly close. So that's definitely something we will be doing otherwise. I'd like to get a dent in the crafting grind as well. And then we'll see if maybe we can finish off with some agility. Maybe get it to 60. Or, and definitely we should be able to complete the full graceful set as well. We also have a lot of raw food left. So there's enough options for us to do. That's going to be 55 Herblor. We can now make super strength potions. I'm not sure if we are going to get another level. We only have a few herbs left. But that's already 4 levels up to 1433 total level. That's going to be 56. We can make super energy mix, that's not that important. But we just barely, with the rest of the herbs, we got up to another level. So that's already 1434. And then the weekly tiers of Gutex. We've gotten 64 tiers. And for the first time, it will be a rune crafting experience for one rune crafting level, bringing us up to 39. So, only 15 levels to go. And with this pineapple plant, this should be 59 farming. We can now grow white berry bushes. That's going to be important later, because that is a secondary for some potions. That's going to be 66 crafting. So, we can now make the blue dragon hide fab braces. This isn't an upgrade as we got the red ones from the implings, but that's the first of the blue dragon hide. Making all this molten glass into lantern lenses only took about two hours. Actually buying the buckets of sand and the soda ash takes so much longer. So we could get to 71 to get to the blue dragon hide body, but for now I think this is enough. We'll go and do another crafting grind later. Let's just cook some of the lobsters we have. And there's the first cooking level. We're up to 70 now. So we're not burning as much of the lobsters as I thought we would. So that's pretty good. We still need seven levels so we might just do it purely by cooking. All these lobsters from Tempro's loot have brought us pretty far. And this is already going to be 75 cooking. So we're only two levels off. We're almost finished with all the lobsters. So we still have 3000 boss in the bank. So that should be enough to get us another two levels. And with this last inventory of boss, that is 77 cooking. Nothing important unlocks after that, but we do get up to a total of 1450, which means that is another task completed for another chunk to unlock. So the task, a total level task, getting 1450 total level has been completed 
and that brings us up to a total chunk amount of 166 now and then back to our map we unlocked the chunk right above dark mayor and this pretty much gives us two chunks we cannot reach as well as the one we just unlocked so that would be pretty bad if we unlocked that but anyway let's see if we get a good one or a bad one pick a chunk okay some of the darkness first let's try that again pick a chunk okay some more darkness still a lot of darkness and water to unlock but the third times the charm pick a chunk or not some more water fourth chunk unlocked now pick a chunk or not another water chunk getting closer to the Feldip hills fifth chunk I hope for a landmass chunk now pick a chunk and we unlock Camelot Castle that actually is a pretty good one to unlock the Camelot Castle means we can now finally finish Wanted because we were teleported here so we will resume the quest over here there is a quest over here not sure which one of the quests this is one of the things that's also very useful is that we can just teleport here and we get another farming patch as well I think there's an easy clue step here as well so all in all that isn't a bad chunk if we look at our newest chunk let's first unlock it we see here this is the holy grail quest and we cannot do this yet because we need this house for a part of the quest so that's a few chunks away and then Merlin's crystal we almost have everything we just need to have keep le fay here which is a chunk we can unlock next if we get a bit lucky so for now these are not two new quests we can do but uh, like I mentioned we can just teleport to the Camelot castle to continue with the wanted quest so from the beginning we were chasing a stolen guy who was up to bad things and he teleported us to Camelot castle while we were following him so let's first of all go to where we were so over here he teleported us and from now on we can continue the quest and uh, one of the things he dropped or what we found while well, he teleported was a blue cape and this indicates he is near the champions guild so we can use our chronicle to teleport there if we go into the champions guild we should be able to find him if we scan with the com orb there we go found him again but he escapes once more and now a blue wizard hat has been found for the next clue of where he went so that's probably going to be the wizard's tower with our trusty necklace of passage let's get into the wizard's tower let's scan once more to see Solus again Solus is not happy and damages us for 69 and we got teleported by Savant and we also got shielded apparently so we could have died there the next item is a bone spear so we need to go to Dorgush Khan and 
every time we chase him we are getting one step closer into actually catching him so we get more and more information on what he's doing how he's doing it and how to capture him but first of all let's eat up because that really hurt that spell he cast on us I'm back in the cave just before Darkush Khan and we can scan our Comorb once more to find Solus again. Apparently it was a woman. This is kind of strange. She says she was kidnapped by Solus. But apparently it was Solus all along. Next up we get a great toy horsey. And that's an item we can get from Diango in Drainer Village. And in Drainer, let's scan once more to get Solus to appear. There we go. And he summons a Black Knight. Level 32. That should be easy pickings for us. There we go. Already dead. And we get some pure essence. So that seems to be fairly easy to get to. That is the essence mines. Aubrey here in Farok can teleport us to the essence mines. There we go. There's Solus again. And now he cannot escape anymore. So this should be it. We can capture him now. He seems to be preparing a spell to kill us. And there are the Temple Knights helping us to capture him. But he's way too powerful. He just killed all of those White Knights without any issue. But he seems to be weakened. So we could kill him now. He's just staff bashing us. And with our protection prayers, he's really easy to kill. Now that Solus is dead, we can use this proof, his hat, to go to Ceramic Vase and finish the quest. And that's the end of the quest. We have completed Wanted for one quest point, 5000 Slayer experience and access to the White Knight Armory. That brings us up to 52 Slayer and we can now kill Jellies. We got the explanation of what the White Knight Armory is and it's just a possibility to buy white armor but we cannot buy it all at once it's in kind of ranks we need to obtain by killing black knights the only actual useful thing for the white armor is that it is needed for a master clue step so we might have to do that later on on the account but for now it's just the quest completed so another task completed and another chunk to pick. After a false start of the wanted quest and now with the unlocking of the Camelot chunk we finally could complete wanted. That was our 52nd quest that is now completed for 167 chunks unlocked in total. And then back to the map, the last chunk we unlocked was the Camelot Castle, or most of it anyway. And now we can unlock Seer's Village, which would be a great chunk, like most city chunks are. And the other chunk which we already could obtain or unlock was Keep Le Fay and a part of Caterby, which would also be pretty good unlock because we need Keep Lefay for one of the quests we unlocked with Camelot Castle. But anyway, the chunk picker still decides for us what we get. So let's pick a chunk. 
And we go to West Ardoin. West Ardoin is needed for one of the quests here in East Ardoin. I think it was Biohazard. But I think the start of Biohazard is in the chunk above the East Ardoin chunk. And we cannot get in without that quest done. So, all in all, it's not a bad chunk because we're getting closer to the underground pass and then also the Iban staff because of that. So, not a chunk we immediately can use, but it's good anyway. That will be all for this episode. We started off with a very promising chunk, but it turned out that it didn't immediately unlock anything. And then we ended on finally being able to finish the wanted quest. Although it was a bit lucky as we could have gotten a location Solos went to that we didn't have yet. Either way, another three chunks unlocked and we'll see what we will be able to do in the next episode. So as always, I hope to see you all there.